Thank you for joining us again on another Pray TV program. Always a joy to be here with you, and Charlotte's with me. Just say hi, dear. It is a joy to be here with you and to just really linger for a few minutes in the presence of the Lord and is in prayers. We often emphasize that this is not your personal prayer time. It's only meant as a little spark of encouragement to you to continue. And we do want for you to continue to pray. The Word tells us that we are to pray without ceasing. And that doesn't mean that you walk around uh, praying prayers out loud or praying prayers in tongues all the time. It, what it means is that we are always in a posture of looking to the Lord, every decision, every moment. And that's what we want to do today. And it's not a hard thing. And we to do our very best to live in that kind of posture. And, and it doesn't mean that you don't have things, other things that occupy your attention and you have to give your attention to. But in your heart, always be in prayer. Always be in the presence of the Lord, knowing that He's always watching. And we're going to look at a portion of Scripture today, and this portion of Scripture is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and we're looking at verses 57 and 58 in the New International Version of the Bible that says, But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Charlotte, I just want for you to bring a comment on this and then we'll go forward from there. There's been so many times in our lives, Brant, when we have not seen in the moment what God had in mind. And he had great purposes in mind that we could not tell. One thing that comes to mind is when we were planning a church in upstate New York, we were having repeated problems with water coming into our basement. Mm -hmm. And I remember one morning I went down and I literally was standing in water to my knees in our basement in the house. And I just said to the Lord, Lord, there's only one reason why I can rejoice about this happening, and that is if Bob, the plumber, comes to know you. <laughs> and it wasn't much a while after that, just a little bit after that, when Bob and his wife Lori came to know Jesus. And we became really good friends. They moved away down to Pennsylvania. But it's, it's the friendship lasted, and it was Lori, actually. Bob went home to be with Jesus, but Lori is the one who has been such an inspiration to our lives. She's the reason why we're even doing this prayer program. Right. And so you, you just never know what God has in mind. So the, the important thing is to really be encouraged by these verses today, that our labor is not in vain. Anything that we give God, He takes it, He multiplies it in ways that we can never envision, never dream. It may be some years down the line, but just take heart today that God sees it all, He knows it all, and He gives the increase. You know, the Word tells us here about this victory that we walk in, that we actually live in. This is ours. It is yours. We, we get overwhelmed in life by life itself. Problems, testings, different kinds of difficulties, things that cause us to, you know, have reactions and fears and insecurities. But the Word of God is so clear. I'm going to read it again because I do want us to recognize that we do have the victory. The victory does not depend upon how we feel. The victory is dependent fully on the work that Jesus Christ has done. So we're reading it again from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and this is verses 57 and 58 in the New International Version of the Bible. It says, but thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know your labor in the Lord is not in vain. He is watching over everything that we're doing. He is carefully caring for our lives and our souls, and He is bringing us more and more into that place of living in the victory, living in the presence of God, living with that conscious awareness that He has made everything well. He does all things well. He is doing all these things for our good. And someday we will be able to see that and we will celebrate that. Charlotte, I invite you to begin our time of prayer here. Lord, we thank you for your presence in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you take the little that we have, Father, because without you we can do nothing, absolutely nothing. And Father, we just relax in that because that frees you to do your work your way. Forgive us, Lord, when we have tried to tell you how to do things. You are the sovereign Lord of the universe. And Father, I just pray that we would surrender ourselves more and more, that Father, you would fill us with peace, that you truly are in control, that you are indeed working all things together for good as we love you. And Father, that you take, Lord, and you, you just cause, Lord, so many connections to come together in your way and in your time. And we thank you for these encouraging verses today, Lord. And we certainly do want to be encouraged. And so, Father, we want to do what Paul says. We want to thank God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, for the victory. We don't misappropriate the view that you've given to us. We are not blind, we are not unmindful of things that are going on, but we see past the circumstantial. We see through the maze and the haze of those things that are yet to be accomplished fully. And we see the victory that is there. The Word says that He gives the victory to those that finish the race and that we are able to overcome by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony, by finishing the course that's set before us. And when we do these things, we know that our labor is not in vain. So Lord, we thank you that you're giving to us this day that greater sense of your victory for our lives. And Lord, we just encourage ourselves. We encourage each other because this is how you want for your children always to be able to live. We bless you, Lord, and we bless those who are praying with us today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.